Hey there, welcome back to another video, Oracle Card Reading. Now, I want you to watch this video all the way through to the end. Why? Because you're going to see things like straight as an arrow, go bird, go, feeling of light, let go of trying to fix the broken people. You're also going to see me call spirit on the phone. Beep, beep, ba, boop, ba, boop. So glad you're here and part of this spiritual experience. Let's get into it. Hey there you, welcome back to another reading, a spiritual oracle card reading on this channel. Now look, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do that, super easy. If you don't have a YouTube account to subscribe to it, you can make one after this video easily. It's free and it's simple. Next, hit the little bell so that you get notified every single day when I publish these, because I publish every day. Doesn't mean you have to watch them every day, but ah. Uh, That'd be great if you did, because then we'd have some type of a camaraderie, a consistency, and a fellowshipping experience. I'll try to keep the videos to 20 minutes or less. That way, you know, it's manageable. Oh, uh, you know, you can just put the video on 2x. If you put it on 2x, it'll run twice as fast, take half the time to watch it, and you'll still get the information. Uh, it might not be as entertaining, but who knows? It might be even more entertaining huh, to hear it go quicker. Like I don't talk fast enough already. Oh, yeah. But... If I slow down my speech, then it'll be just easier to do that with the 2x anyway. But whatever, let's get into this reading and what's really happening here. Whoa, you're going to get information in this reading designed to do two things. One, designed to give you new story, new storyline, new data new information, to have bubble up and mix with what you already know about the world and yourself. This new information is going to mix in and colorize and expand, break apart, make better, make bigger, make better for your new kind of cake that you're going to get to eat after you digest the information in this reading, the story in this reading. It's going to have things bubbling up in you that are going to be worthwhile. So that's the first thing is for the information to hit what you already know with the intention that it's all going to be expanding and constructive and worthwhile. So just decide to, if, to trust me. Well, do you trust me? You would trust me if you knew that I'm just like a little kid in an adult body. Ah, I'm just playing in the world of creative light. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am okay with who I am. I don't care what others think of me. If they think I'm goofy or if they think I'm cool, it doesn't really matter. I'm not, I'm not anybody's fool and I'm not their tool. Ooh, how many times are you gonna rhyme, right? The rhyming can get annoying, but sometimes it's fun. Just let it go, let it be what it is. It's fun, it's fun. So look, you're gonna get information that's gonna lead to that breakthrough that break apart, that increase. Mm, isn't it fun how the cards come out to match what we just talked about? You're going to have that breakthrough, that increase in information, but you're also going to have something else. A feeling of light that I cannot explain. So I make little songs to try to express them, pressing them out. If I move and I grow with my words, they come out and I see that everything is okay because it's a movement of light, a movement of light, a wave. I don't know how to express it right now, except to say it like a little crummy little boy song like I'm doing, little off key notes like I'm doing. This is just how the Brian's doing it. And this is goody good good because it's different and new and unique like you. Different, new, unique like you. Ah, you're that in the world. So we're going to have breakthroughs of information and breakthroughs of emotion. And those are the only two things we're dealing with all day long anyway. Ah, uh, why do I feel good about myself? Because I have life purpose. <laughs> Come on. I feel as though my life has a purpose and that purpose is to bring spiritual information, spiritual readings to people who would watch them or just to the YouTube channel. And I'm under the impression that these videos will be here for 500 years and that even if nobody watches them, 
well, in my lifetime. Uh, but somebody is. You are. Thank you, by the way. Oh, so good that you watch. I appreciate you. Even if nobody else watches them, who cares? Because after I'm dead and gone, they're going to be here ringing out those silly songs of light and love that we're all going to maybe see somewhere down the road. Is it a delusion? Hmm. I guess I'll have to decide if my life's purpose is diluted. It is deluded, not a delusion, not like fooling ourselves, but a, a delusion, diluted. In other words, to dilute something, to bring a little bit of one thing together with something else and mix it together, diluted, diluted. That's what the card means. What are we doing here? <laughs> Mainly, we are living as spiritual beings having human experiences. That's just the deal. If you're somebody that wants to rise above their personal life, the good and the bad, that keeps happening. Rise above their emotions, ooh, all of that uh, energy, and be able to channel that emotion towards constructive ends so that you can build or reflect the kind of life you want, ooh, then subscribe to this channel, be a part of this channel, watch it every day. Because you're just gonna get stuff here. Stuff that's going to help you, help you on your way, on your way of your little spiritual treasure chest life that you have. Look at this. She's dipping into that treasure chest of the green heart chakra and the white, white light. What is that? That is the experience of bringing light into the world as a spirit. If you want treasure, if you want wealth of any kind, whether it be <laughs> emotional wealth, or monetary wealth, or smooth relationship and communication wealth with your significant other, your future boyfriend, whoever, anybody that you want, your family members, your whoever's. If you want your coworkers and you to get along better, if you want life to enrich, then you're going to need to dip into the treasure chest that is you, you as a spiritual being, a bright light, you letting go of this mortal world for a moment and being a part of channels like mine, like mine, like Brian Nestlines, who traded his personal self for his spiritual identity, shifted his identity so that he could come here and deliver card readings for you at this time. So look, as you dip into this treasure chest, you're going to see all this yellow hue. What's that? That's the joy of knowing that you can overcome the world and you can have any type of treasure you prefer. How are you going to do that? Well, let's look at the card reading and see. See, the card readings are going to spark little ideas in your mind. You're going to feel something. You're going to be inspired. You're going to be that person who says, I can do it. Be that person who says, what the what? Take off that white mask. Be that green heart chakra and yellow. Look at it right there. Be that green heart chakra yellow being that looks all like the Joker. Ooh, it looks all scary and dark. Ooh, it's not dark just because it looks all scary. It looks like a trickster. It looks like a devil. It looks like a villain. That's the first thing that you're supposed to know. Ah, get rid of the villain. Turn into the white light. Know that it's a big facade. That there's nothing but good God, source, universe, light. That's all there is. When are you going to trade your dark ideas for this idea? Just do it. Seriously. And if you don't like me telling you to do it, uh, think about why you don't like that. Think about why that ouches you. Think about why you won't let go of the shadow, the darkness, the garbage, the garbage. There's nothing here but light. The garbage, the garbage. You know that's what's right. The joy light, the you, you, the shining, the new, new. Get rid of the joker. Just toss it off. Get rid of it. Say goodbye. I'm done with you, joker. Right? When are you going to wake up? When are you going to know who you are? Okay, that's pretty harsh. Now, look. You do know who you are. You wouldn't be here. You know who you are. Come here. Come over here. Check it out. Uh, this is how we make who we are. We have to choose on faith to be this little joyful flower in the world. We have to make a decision that we are a spiritual being having a human experience. We're using faith. What is faith? It is a story we tell ourselves up here on imagination. It doesn't exist. Faith. 
the Bible definition of faith is the assurance of what we're hoping for, the very substance of what we haven't seen come to pass yet, faith. So we have to use faith, which is like a lie. We have to lie to ourselves, in a way. We have to lie to ourselves and say, hold on, I'm not myself, I'm not a villain, there's no villains, there's no enemy, there's no shadow, there's nothing against me, there's only one power, there's nothing but power, there's one white light power, there's nothing but one white light power, as I sing it you can see, I don't have enough time to think about how it could be wrong, I just let it come out in that little song, I am gonna be my heart chakra arrow boy, I'm going to let go of trying to fix the broken people, let go of trying to think there's an enemy so you don't have to try to fix them there's nothing wrong with them there's nothing wrong with you they're doing everything that they're inspired to do in the moment take this story on faith come on what's the alternative that people are broken that people need healing no 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 what a crappy story oh that one sucks why don't you just go up up and out of the world come on out of the world with me where and who am I? I'm just another version of you. I'm just the spiritual being that lives. Just like you're a spiritual being that lives. Oh, look, two cards came out together. Let's see what they are. Ah, uh, the enthusiasm is here with the beginnings card. Boom. Let's get out of that winter. Let's go into that bluebird spring up, up and away into that white light green heart chakra day. Let's go into this big burst of energy that we can all use to do whatever the hell we're doing. Yeah. What am I saying? What's happening here? Why are you listening? Don't try to make sense of it. The elusive priestess. It's an elusive game. Don't try to dig into the thought and logic of it. The blame. Don't blame. Come on up and out of that. Come on in your treasure chest. Come on into the zone where nothing is here but good God greatness. Good God and greatness. Go into that little place. You're protected. <laughs> oh, man. I know, right? Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, everyone. So if you're here, thank you for being here. If you're someone who's subscribed to my YouTube channel, thank you for being a subscriber. And know that I publish daily spiritual card readings there's a lot, there's pick a cards, there's messages there. Every one of them is for you. And when I say that, I'm talking to each one of you individually and collectively. They're for you. They're for you because you're a special, important, unique human being in the world. You just are. No one is as good as you, as cool as you, as unique as you, as special as you. Yes, everybody is all that. We're all special, unique, and cool. But no one is a carbon copy of you. No one can do what you do. No one will be that one that is cloaked in purple. Crown chakra purple of experiences. Look at your beautiful cloak. And you all have one. So do I. It's all these beautiful petals of experiences, of wisdom experiences that we have gone through. And the faded different faded gradients of the purple is because of our emotional experiences with all of the stuff we've been through. Oh, I'm so sad. Maybe it gets a little more pastel like, I'm so mad. Maybe it gets a little bit deeper, richer. I'm so confident. Oh, that's pure. I'm so happy looking at the door of joy, of light, of new possibilities. Mysticism. So, Ah, and there we go on our little journey. All the chakras are just constantly pure and waiting for us to step across. <laughs> Meaning that we are always this spiritual body having our little human experience in the world, exploring all the little beautiful things that we happen just as little boys and girls, as a little girl in the world, in the world. And now we're all grown up, so we're able to do this in a way that is sophisticated, in a way that is respectable, and in a way that is beautiful, honorable, wonderful. That's us. Anyhow. Oh. 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 So anybody can go to my YouTube channel, set an intention, and then go to a video and be watching the video and listening to it with your intention in your heart mind, on your mind. Then you're going to understand 
The reading's going to hit you in ways that are personal to you. It's going to bring up certain memories. It's going to bubble up certain connective things. You're going to be like, oh my God, I was just like talking about that. Or you're going to be like, oh, that's what my friend Susan said. That's right. Or you're going to be like, oh, that's what I was telling Ralph. Oh my gosh. Same thing. Wow, that's weird that it would happen. All sorts of cool things will happen to you when you go to my YouTube channel. Guess what? It's not just my YouTube channel. It's anywhere. Go anywhere. But I'd like you to come to my YouTube channel because I made all those videos for you. <laughs> Every one of them. Every one of them. We're going to call Spirit on the phone. You were meant to be here to watch. To watch and witness. To bear witness to the phone call. To bear witness to the card. Who's it going to be for? I know. It's going to be for those who decide that they belong to this body of God, to this body of information, to those who decide that they <laughs> fit in here. And if you decide you don't belong, then you will be cast out. Why would you want to cut yourself off from the never ending abundance of God, right? Let's just call spirit on the phone though and find out what we're going to do. <laughs> Spirit's funny. Oh, I don't want to call Spirit on the phone. Wait, maybe I shouldn't bother to call Spirit on the phone. Do I really even need to do that? Spirit's like, no, Brian, you don't need to call me on the phone. And then, I, so I'm like, well, why, why, why are you inspiring me to call you on the phone? And the Spirit says, because Brian, people need to understand that you you have a phone in your hand and not a deck of cards. And I'm saying, okay, Spirit, but this is a deck of cards, right? And Spirit's like, what do you think, Brian? And I'm like, well, I mean, is this a trick question? I, I think it's a deck of cards, but honestly, I kind of feel like it's a phone. I feel like it's a phone. I think it's a deck of cards. I feel like a feeling is more important right now because it allows me to shift and grow and become brand new. I would rather leave behind all the things I thought I knew since I'm coming up to you every moment of the day. And we can't stay in this world now, can we? So now I see what you're telling me, Spirit, that it's better to believe, to make believe, because of that childlike awe and wonder that we ride along, that feeling, that wave, that light that song, so that we can be better equipped, not only to move through the ups and downs of our day-to-day -day changes in our personal life, ouch, the relationships, ouch, the work stuff, ah, do I have enough money or not? Oh, all of the little this is and that to this world. Not only are we gonna be able to weather the storms of the up and downs of the duality of the good, bad, good, bad, left, right, left, right, positive, negative, positive, negative, day, night, day, night, with the song, with the feeling, with the making believe, we're going to be able to let this world go and renew our minds to go into the new dimensions that we are constantly being propelled into. So with all that in mind, I'm calling you on the phone, Spirit, whether you want me to or not. Do you know what, Spirit? I'm going to do what I want to do. What? Did I just say that? Did I just validate myself in front of the Spirit of God? God's like, you go, Brian. I made you for the reason to dial me up whenever you want to. You make the beliefs, Brian. I will supply the light. And that's what Spirit is saying to all of us. Spirit will supply the light to you. And it's a never-ending channel of it, abundance of it. It is constant. You, you have a constant supply of the light for your soul to travel into any little nook and cranny of your personal life that you believe in, make believe. All right, so I'm calling you on the phone, dude. Stop talking to me like this and answer the call, okay? <laughs> right? <laughs> All right. It's good that I have the number. That's something I don't want to forget about. If I forget the number, then I can't call, right? Beep, beep, ba boop, ba boop. It's ringing. <laughs> God, I always forget whether or not it's gonna ring. Hey. I know, right? <laughs> oh my God, I'm so glad to talk to you, dude. You are something else. It's so different talking to you on the phone than it is like the other way. Yeah, I mean, it just feels more real. It feels like I'm just talking to a friend, talking to you, talking to myself, talking, talking it through. Yes, talking it through with you. Yeah, <laughs> yes. I know I have so much 
I do, I have so much respect for you, Spirit, that I'd be willing to play, to play in this world that you gave me to personally play in as the Brian. Now look, you know, I would have liked to have more of a conscious choice about the Brian. <laughs> like I would have chose some other things. For one, a full head of hair. I mean, come on, dude. Spirit's like, Brian, you know that you've got so much out of the experience of not having any. Spirit's like, remember when you were all like sad and you were crying because you lost your hair at a young age when other guys had a full head of hair and you looked at them all? Yes, I'm telling them that story. I mean, you want me to tell them that, right? All right. Spirit's like, tell them the story. Tell them. Yeah, and I'm like crying because I'm like, I'm not desirable. I don't look good enough. Eh, other people have more than me. Eh, I'm a loser. Oh, I remember all that. Ah. So yeah, that would have been nice to, yes, that would have been nice to avoid that by having a full head of hair, right? But you're right. I wouldn't have made me who I am. And I am something brand new every day anyway. So who gives a crap, right? Yes. All right. So I have so much respect for this beautiful experience that you have given all of us to be a part of. And I'm so happy about that. And spirits like, tell them, Brian, say out loud, tell them, tell them they can come to me themselves. And they do, 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 dude. So spirit says that the best way, one of the best ways we can have respect for spirit and for ourselves is just by being authentic, being relaxing and knowing who we really are is that spiritual being having a temporary changing human experience and letting go and just being ourselves, going for it, bringing new things. Yes. I, if you interrupt me like that, it gets more difficult. All right. You're right. If I say it's difficult, then it's difficult. All right. You know what? You can interrupt me whenever. No, I don't want you to interrupt me whenever, whenever you want. Yes. Spirit's like, it's funny having words, isn't it? Because words control the way the light flows. And then you kind of get sucked into that. So spirit says, have some respect for the words you're using, but don't hold on too tightly to them. Just like we don't. Yes, I'm telling them just like, just like don't hold on too tightly to anything in this world. Hold on to it for sure. In other words, use your words to describe it and define it and declare it, but then let go and let it unfold and come back as a beautiful surprise. Yes. And I feel like you've been a surprise to me all the time here, spirit. And I appreciate you keep revealing new things to me. All right. I'm getting off the phone now, dude. I got to go. Ah, okay. Holy moly. What the what? Dude, these phone calls are getting more and more interesting and strange than ever before. But I learn a lot when I talk with spirit directly and on the phone. So anybody's always welcome to just pick up whatever you got and dial spirit because it's closer than breath. It's in your hands. The spirit of God is right at hand. So here we go. The card that's coming out for you is ah. Look at it, doesn't matter that it's upside down. Perceptions. If it is an upside down perception, what, what does that mean? Mm, that means that I'm perceiving things in a crappy way. Ugh. Uh, you're crazy, Brian, calling spirit on the phone. <laughs> right? It's all about the perception. What we are perceiving, perceiving. And what are we going to perceive? Well, what we do in our secret garden. Look, she is inside that space where nobody else can go, where nobody can go, where you live in your secret space. Jesus said, go into your secret place and ask the father consciousness, spirit, the secret garden, the green heart chakra, that spiritual elixing self, that that space where no one can go. That health and wellness, green, always renewing, always reborning, always brand new and bright, emerald. Go there and ask the father up there what you want. And then it'll go out and it'll be sung into the world, represented by the bird, and it'll flutter away like a butterfly, right? In other words, it will loosely go drifting like a butterfly lifting and straight as an arrow, go bird, go, and it'll cruise out there and it will start to grow in the world that perception of what you started off up here in your heart mind, in your heart mind, in your secret place. And it's suggesting that you pick wisdom things. Look at the purple. That's the crown chakra. Pick, put on your wisdom dress with your little bit of joy piping. See the joy piping of the yellow? All that means is go into your past and look at the lessons you learned Look at everything as a lesson being learned. So no more regrets. Look at me. I was in a marriage. The marriage got separated. Now it's over. Now I'm legally separated. 
Am I going to have regrets? Or am I going to put on my, <laughs> am I going to be a woman and put on my, am I going to put on my dress? Am I going to put on my crown chakra purple and look at it as a lesson? Lots of little lessons. So many, they are true. I can take them with me and live as that person today as a result of all I've been through. I'm so thankful for that marriage. I'm so thankful to my ex. Now you know what it is like to go into your secret place, become that spiritual being who can hold, hold on loosely to the world, formulate what you're looking for, let it go, and then let your perceptions of what's around you be ones of joy. Be ones of joy. Let your perceptions of your past experiences go back into them and just pull the joy out of them. Then you'll be wearing the white dress. See it? That white, clean slate, blank slate, blank mind. No regret, no condemnation, nothing against you. A beautiful experience inside you, ready for you to send out the beautiful butterflies and blue birds that you're looking to see come back to you. The perceptions that you see in the world are all going to be colored in the green. See it? In that health and wellness, in that heart chakra heartbeat heart chakra heartbeat coming back into your life. So, yeah, it is what it is. We are what we are. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your now. <laughs> Feel like you need some more. You want some more. Just set an intention. Go to a video that you're drawn to. It works every time. It just does. Come back and leave me comments and feedback. It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you for all your support.